right, well I'm telling you, I always do it. So go ahead and try and do it, and let's see what happens. Can you leave the comments now, please? So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at IG Masonry Support. And this is located in Swaddling Coat, a DE11 postcode. So it looks very interesting from above. They do some sort of supports for brick structures. So let's go and have a little wander in to reception, which I presume is over there, where it's got some nice flowers. And let's go and take a look and see what's, uh, what's so good about this place. What do they do? What are they proud of? Let's go find out. So outside reception, two brick pillows with flowers in. Is it real brick? Yeah, real gloss bricks on that. And real mortar. I must do some sort of structure for that. So we're closed. Please ring for assistance. There we go. Oh yeah. No, I'm I'm not expected or anything. Right. I'm just um, come to let you know. I'm just making a video about the place today. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go in any publicly accessible area. Um, so it's just a car park, is it? Yeah. Where where can I see your product? Uh, I'll bring someone down to talk to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. So on the website, there is this um, section of brick slip arches, an IG brick slip feature arches are lightweight prefabricated units that facilitate the return of brickwork on the soffit of the arch, whilst ensuring structural steel is completely hidden. The units are designed bespoke to order, ensuring that each individual arch is customized to the unique size, shape, and aesthetic requirement of the project. Feature arch. Hi. Uh, yeah, you're not expecting me or anything. I'm just going to stay outside, but I'm just going to do a little video about the, the company today. And I'm going to take the drone over just to get some aerial shots. Who's asked you to do this? No, nobody's asked me to. I just go around industrial estates and I make little videos of interesting businesses. And you've caught my eye today. Um, I'm going to say we don't want to do that. No, no that's what I mean. I'll be outside. No, no, but still, driving a drone over, no, we're not interested in doing that. No, I'm going to do it. I'm just being polite and letting you know. Well, we're telling you we don't want to. No, you haven't got a choice. I'm just letting you know that's what I'm doing. We it's have got a choice because you're flying a drone over our building. So we have got a choice. If you drive a flow, uh, fly a drone, I will get the police. You're what? not entitled to do that. The police can't do nothing. Drones are allowed over but businesses. Well, they shouldn't be filming businesses. So. Yeah. Give it a go, mate, and see what happens. No, I don't want no hostility. I'm being okay, polite. Well, don't, don't do it then. But you know, if I just did it out there without informing you, that would be unreasonable, wouldn't it? So I'm just letting you know. And asking, being told no, and no. then saying I'm still going to do it anyway, that's been unreasonable. My friend, I'm not asking, I'm just informing you. Right, well, I'm telling you, I always do it. So go ahead and try and do it, and let's see what happens. Can you leave the premises now, please? Yeah, of course, but I'm, I'm a bit Can shocked. You leave the now? What's your name? I'm Oliver. You're Oliver, your position? I'm the operations manager. Operations manager. Okay, Oliver, I, I didn't want it to end this way. But it's not ending anyway, I'm telling you I don't need to film my business. Yeah, but you've got no no powers to tell somebody to well, I've, got, I've got powers to say I don't need to film my business, yes I have. No, you can request anyway, it. Anyway, can you leave sight now? Yeah of course, but I'm just shocked, that's all. Okay, thank you. It's certainly not how I wanted the video to end. Can you leave sight? Yeah, okay, well, that's fair enough mate, but I'm gonna be out there. It'll only be twenty minutes. Probably you're not allowed to film me. But yeah, I am. It's evidence. You're on our premises. Yeah, right? you've asked me to leave and I'm going now. Alright Oliver. Please get off our premises then. I'm sorry. Please get off our premises. You're getting a bit more rude as you go along. Get off the premises. It's like, please leave, sir. No, I'm telling you to get off. Then. You're telling me to get off. What's that all about? That's, that's rude. You're, you're just a disgrace, you are. Am I? Yeah. I can't believe that's what's happened. I'm being polite. I'm letting you know what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm going. I've had enough Thank of you. you. Yes, we've you to leave. <laughs> Whatever. So, as you, as you can see, Oliver wasn't very happy with my polite approach, I'm just informing him that I'm going to be taking the drone over. So we can see some uh, materials way back there, 
which we will see much better with the drone. So, as Oliver starts telling all his colleagues and looking out the window and raising the alarm and calling the police, let's just crack on, shall we? Let's return to this public footpath and get the drone up. So we've returned back to the public footpath now. We've got David ready. So let's go and have a look what this place looks like from above. So as shown on the screen just there, we are not in any flight restriction zones. So let's go and have a look at, forgot what it's called. <laughs> just says IG on the screen. IG Masonry Support. So as shown on the screen just there, there are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's go and have a look what IG Masonry Support looks like from above. We don't need to go too high on this one. We'll get up to 50 meters. There we are, have a quick look round, make sure there's nothing higher than ourselves. And there's not, and wow, look at all that in the back. So, we just walked up here, went to the reception, and spoke to Oliver there, who didn't want to be involved in the video, but thought he had the power to stop us. Well, I'm afraid, Oliver, you are wrong, my friend. Any member of the public with a drone can come and take an interest in what you do. So, steels, brickwork, reinforcements. Let's go and have a good look round, shall we? Looks very interesting and very organised. Forklift there, just moving some steels. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Quite a bright colour. Let's see how he does it. See if we can work out what they are. Can't quite make it out. Quite um small forklift can't be much weight to that as we get further into the site we've just got more and more of this stuff let's get an angle from this end see if we can see if it's hollow really can't make it out what that is I would have liked to have known whether they actually put the brickwork into the steel and have we got piles of bricks nope that's insulation and there's a fence there so it's probably a separate business oh but it is joined it's joined us there maybe prefabricated some <laughs> don't know I'm guessing I'm guessing it's obviously prefabricated arches with the bricks already installed and I can see some trusses of roofs there so it must be prefabrication of something else to do with the building trade Different bits of steel being moved around by forklift outside. And these have got more of an arched feel to them. Yeah, that's more what we expect to see with brick arches.
So as you would uh, have noticed, no solar panels on the roofs at all. And what's this curtain side lorry storing? Can't really tell, but it's blocked in. It's a permanent fixture. No way they're getting that out. And they've tried to make the front gate look a bit pretty with this green screening across the front. And this building here says Keystroke. Oh, Keystone on the front of it. So let's just work out whether this is... Oh, I pressed that button by mistake. That's the C1 button at the back of this new DJI Mini 3 controller. Seems to be quite easy to press by mistake. So Keystone in this area, yeah, it's all linked on the backyard. So Keystone's bins. Metal, mixed, wood. And there's some prefabricated insulation walls or insulated walls. So yeah, it's all about prefabricate prefabrication, getting stuff ready off-site for quicker installation on-site. Which does make sense. So let's have a look around this side of the, the building before we end this. And what have we got? Is that some wood? Some lath? This looks like wood to me. Is that the diesel tank as well? I'm not sure about that. But most of the staff vehicles reversed into their parking spaces, look. Oh, apart from this, <laughs> this row here. And then you enter it on like a roundabout where I'm standing just there. So lots more industry on this industrial estate. So we are going to be busy today. Let's just have a good look round. Take that 360 degree shot and then move on. Looks like they're demolishing an old building over there. Putting some piles. Pile foundations just there. Got loads and loads of places to look at around here, look. And there we are, back to that very organized yard. So let's switch over to the camera, do that 360 degree shot to upload to Google Maps. And then we'll get David back. And they've even done their homemade drain cover look. Not seen that before. I think they need some sort of uh, cigarette butt disposal point, <laughs> AKA ashtray out here. You're not coming to see me, are you? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm just staying outside. I'm just making a video about IG brick. What is it? Brick slip. What's it called again? I forgot what it's called. IG masonry support. You do brick slip systems, don't you? With the steels, uh -huh. all prefabricated. Do you actually put the bricks on here as well? No, I don't do that here. No. I just took the drone over for a, an aerial shot to make my video even more interesting for the viewers. I didn't see any bricks. I saw insulation. What's the insulation for? Who are you doing it for? Sorry? Who are you making the video for? Just for me. For personal. For yourself? Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel. Okay. So I'm going to put it on the YouTube channel yeah. to tell people where I've been today. Oh, okay. I'm an industrial estate YouTuber. Ah. Not 
okay. I've never heard of one of them before. That's interesting. Yeah, well, people will tell you about it. Are you high up in the company? No, no, God, no. Right, well, if you are interested, yeah. people will tell you that, oh, there's a video about your company, yeah, yeah, and they'll okay. send you the link. Okay. Oh. So, do, do, do the people in AD know you're doing this? I did go up to um, reception. I pressed the buzzer. Yeah. So, was his, his name Kevin? I think his name was Kevin. He came out. I told him what I was doing. He didn't endorse it. He didn't welcome it. But because I travel all over the country to different industrial estates, this one looks really good from above. And with the drone, you want things that are interesting from above, really. So, uh, yeah, it's not every day you see a, a business like this. So the viewers will be very interested in this one. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, DJ. DJ. DJ Audits. DJ it's like a public audit from the outside to see what's going on. Yeah. Cheers, All right. That was better, weren't it? Arrived in the black Audi, came over with a friendly approach. Much better. But I think they did go over that way first. Couldn't find a parking spot, so they resorted to this side. So Keystone, good. IG bad <laughs> yeah we'll leave that there guys if you have enjoyed that video do give it a thumbs up for me and i'll see you on the next one bye bye for now